What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. So all of a sudden, at age, what, 60, he's just going to break bad? Female truck driver wants to know when quitting a trucking company, should she give notice or no notice? No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing today? So I have a question. I have a question. Okay, so let's say that you work for a trucking company and you find another opportunity that you would like to go work for another company. Do you give a notice notice, like two weeks, a week, or do you give what is referred to as the two-day, two-minute notice? Um, how do you guys handle that? I'm coming from like a corporate environment where it's natural to give a two-week notice. But in talking to other drivers, I'm finding that in the trucking industry, there's no real such thing as a two week notice. It's a two minute notice. Here's your keys, thank you, have a great day. Um, what do you guys think? Should should drivers be giving, should, should drivers give notice when they're leaving a company? Should they not give notice? Because you know, a lot of companies try to screw the driver over at the end, right? So let me know what you guys think. Tell me, notice or no notice? You know, this is a very, very very good question and a very very good topic very good topic there drivers let me know what you think what's your thoughts so notice or no notice in the trucking industry you know in the corporate world it is it, it is cool to give a two weeks notice you know let let the company knows that you know that you about to quit and give them the opportunity to you know look for your replacement you know Sometimes the corporate world will want you to train your replacement as well, which is cool. I mean, if especially if you're going on to greener pastures, why not? You know, hey, bro, you know, this is what you do, yada, 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 congratulations, bye. In trucking, though, no. And let me explain why. So a small mom-and-pop company would sometimes require you to leave well, for two weeks notice, you know, hey, give us two weeks notice. Let us know that you're about to quit so that we can, you know, get in the process of finding another driver for your truck. And that's and that's understandable, you know, with mom and pop companies. But what mega carriers? No, 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 uh, no, because for every one driver, they got 10 other drivers to take that seat. So there's really no reason for you to say, hey, Swift, uh, I'm about to give you my two weeks notice and we about to leave. Now, see, when a company get, gets wind of you getting ready to leave, then that gives the dispatchers the opportunity to start messing with your money, start messing with your miles, start messing with your period. Say, for example, you want to go home, right? So, hey, drive uh, dispatcher, um, I'm about to quit in two weeks, so that Friday I need to be home. Oh, okay, no problem, yada, yada, yada. But when that Friday comes around, you're stuck up in the Northeast or you stuck down in the Southwest or you stuck in California and you live all the way over in New York. Bro, I need to be home on Friday. Oh, yeah, 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 we'll, we're working on it. We're working on it. Or they would give you, say, for example, if you're supposed to be on Friday, like it's it's like Tuesday or Wednesday, right? Instead of sending you in the direction of home, they sending you in the opposite direction of home. Oh, yeah, we got a, we got a load that has to deliver in Utah. Bro, I stay up in New York. Like, why you can't get me a load that's going towards New York, you know, from my home? And, you know, no, that, it gives them the opportunity to start messing with you. That's why a lot of drivers in your comment session saying, no, 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 don't don't give no two weeks notice. Why? Why? Just like what this young man says. We want a two weeks notice for what? You ain't going to give me one. To any entrepreneur working a full-time job to support your business and to anybody who has ever worked a nine to five, 
here is my question to you. Why do we give a two week notice to an employer to let them know that we're about to quit when that same employer would never give us a two week notice to let us know that they're about to fire our ass? Tilt the head and blink. They want two weeks to prepare so that they can replace us. But will they give us two weeks to prepare so that we can find another job and so that our families don't starve? All I'm saying is letting your last day on the job be a surprise and not giving a two weeks notice to an employer that would never give your ass a two weeks notice. It's so important. It's so important. <laughs> so no, no. In, in the trucking game, you know, the best way to leave on semi good terms, I guess, is to say, hey, you know, let me get home time. That'd give you an opportunity to take the truck home. You'll be able to clean the truck out and all that good stuff. And then on the next time when you come back from home time, you know, you can tell them, hey, where do you want me to take the truck? Okay. You want me to bring it back to the uh, yard? You want me to take it to the terminal or whatever the case? Once you drop the truck off, make sure you clean it out. Clean it. Make sure you take pictures of everything, outside, inside, underside, everything, tires, grill, doors, everything. Take pictures, right? And when you take pictures, you're covering yourself and make sure you clean out the truck. Don't leave nothing to chance because what they can do, they can mess with your last paycheck. You know what I'm saying? They'd be like, oh, okay, well, we're going to hold on to your paycheck until everything clears with the truck, and then we'll pay you. A lot of truck drivers feel some kind of way, such as myself. You leave, you mess with my last paycheck. Yeah, we got a problem, bro. So notice for smaller companies like mom and pop style companies, no notice for mega carriers. Let's slide into comments right quick. This commenter said the downside to no notice is that if you have been given a dispatch, they can put on your DAC that you quit under dispatch. No, no, I, I never heard of that young lady. I, I'm not sure if that happened to you, but I haven't heard of that. I mean, if you want to quit while you're up under a dispatch, I mean, you could just go ahead and do one or two things. You can Deliver the load and then, you know, bring the truck back to wherever they want you to bring the truck back. Or you can take the load to the terminal and drop the load off at the terminal. You just have to make sure you take the truck back to where they want you to take it back. Not abandoning it. You see what I'm saying? Don't abandon the truck. Don't leave the truck at an unauthorized place. Then they can put it on your deck. Then they can say, yeah, you abandoned the truck and you quit under dispatch. But if you take the truck and trailer and load to where they want you to take it at, then it shouldn't be a problem. This commenter says, depends on the relationship I have with the company, how I was treated while working there. Exactly. I. You know, depending on, like, if you work for Swift and you had problems, it's time to go. It's time to go. You don't want to work there no more. So you want to get up. You got another opportunity. It's time to go. Again, it all falls back to dropping that truck and trailer off where they want, where they want it to be. This commenter says, I don't give notice no more. Did that once, and it was the worst experience ever. I can agree. Because like I said, once you give a notice and they know that you're quitting, then that gives them ample opportunity to start messing with you and your money. And you don't want that. They can trash talk you on your DAC report. If you just hand them the keys, I've been telling my company I'm not happy with them and I'm looking elsewhere. That's true. That's true. But again, it all boils down to where you take the truck or where you leave the truck. That anything like that will be on your DAC report. 
This commenter says, I gave a two-week notice. They routed me to a terminal and even took me to get a rental car to get home, cleaned things out, and cleaned out the truck. That's a good company. I'm going to assume that was a small company that you worked for, bro. Because if you was to give a two-weeks notice to companies like Swift, Snyder, and the rest of them, I don't think they would be that nice. And the last commenter says, I've been in the business for almost 30 years, and I gave them the same courtesy that they would give me if they would decide to fire me. Exactly. Just like what the young man said, why should I give you a two weeks notice? You don't give me a two weeks notice when you fire me. When you fire me, when, when you fire me, I am out the door that day. I, I, I was routed back to Turnal Hill. I got in there. They didn't give me a two weeks notice. They say, hey, they wanted me to clean out my truck in 24 hours. They didn't give me a two weeks notice. Say, hey, you know, in two weeks, we're going to fire you. They didn't do that. So I agree. Why should we truck drivers give them the same courtesy? You're not going to give that to me when I when when you fire me. When it's time to go, especially if you get another opportunity, it's time to go. Just say thank you, please come again. Where do you want your truck? Drivers, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Big G's got it locked. Boy. Want you to love me all night, yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real white, yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G, yeah, don't make a sound. And I want you to miss me when I'm not around. Come dive in my ocean, sip on my boat. My love is like lotion. It's all over you. You all over me, cause you my little boo. How many times I gotta tell you, I don't fuck around. Cause they got you insecure, you your feelings now.